Hi and welcome to SourceCAD. In this video, I will make an old ham coupling in AutoCAD 3D and this coupling is generally used for connecting two non-collinear shafts. So if two shafts are not collinear but if they are parallel to each other, then this coupling is generally used. For 3D drawings, good PC configuration is always recommended. So you should always ensure that your PC has good processor and sufficient storage or RAM space and also a good quality graphics card if you are working with AutoCAD 3D or with the rendering and other visualization tools in AutoCAD. So for this video, I am using Intel i5 processor and the available memory in my PC is 12 gigabytes and I'm using AMD Radeon Pro WX2100 graphics card. So this makes quite a good configuration or a PC specification for making these kind of 3D drawings. So moving on to the 3D drawing, I'll start with a simple circle. So go to the draw panel and select the circle tool. Now click anywhere in the drawing area to start the circle and now enter the radius. So I'll type 10 as the radius and now press enter. Now press enter again to repeat the command, select the same center and now make another circle with radius of 35 units and now press enter again. Okay, so now I'll move to the 3D plane. For that, I'll click on this home icon close to this view cube and now go to the press pull tool on the modeling panel. Now click in between these two concentric circles and enter a height of 36 unit and press enter. Now press escape and I'll change the visual style to see this more clearly. So I'll go to view panel, click on the drop down and now select shades of gray. So this will make it quite visible. Now I'll go to this top view once again and let's zoom out and let's make a rectangle. So I'll go to rectangle now click anywhere outside this 3D geometry and now make a rectangle. So I'll type add on the command line and now enter the length of this rectangle, which is 16 in this case, comma a width. So in this case, I'll use a width or a height of 80 units and now press enter. So here we have it. Now I'll click on this and I'll move it exactly on this 3D geometry. For that, I'll select the move tool and now click on the geometric center. So I'll track this point, then I'll track this midpoint and I'll click at this point now and I'll move it on the center of this geometry here. Now let's orbit this drawing a little bit to see it clearly. Okay, so we have it here on the lower side. So I'll click on it and I'll move it upwards. So select the move tool, click on a point and move it upwards. So make sure this green tracking vector is visible and when the green tracking vector is visible, enter a height of 36 units and press enter. Now once again go to the press pull tool and select this area which is within this rectangle and the rest of the geometry. Now once again enter a height of 10 unit and press enter. Now repeat the process for this second part as well and once again enter 10 and press enter. Now press enter to exit the press pull tool. Now I'll select the circle tool and now click on this top most center of the circle. Now make another circle with radius of 20 unit and press enter. Now go to the extrude tool, select the circle which you have made and press enter. Now in this case the circle will be made in the upward direction but we want it in the downward direction. So type minus 10 and press enter. So here we have it. Now we'll subtract this circle from rest of the geometry. And for that, I'll go to this subtract tool. Now select this main geometry and press enter. Now select this part and press enter again. And here we have it, the subtracted geometry as per our requirement. Now we'll make another rectangle. So for that, I'll go to the rectangle tool click anywhere in the drawing area and now type add on the command line. Now make it with a length of 70 units and a height of 80 unit and press enter. So here we have it. Now click on this home icon and select the extrude tool. Now select this rectangle, press enter and enter a height of 1.6 unit and press enter. 
now we have this drawing in perspective view which we don't want so i'll change it to parallel by right clicking on the view cube and now we'll move it upwards so i'll click on this front view and you'll see that this is currently on the bottom side of this but we want it on the upward side so we'll move it a little bit upward for that i'll select the move tool and select this rectangle press enter click on any point and now i'll move it upwards but we are not able to do that in this view so i'll change the view by clicking on this home icon once again and now when the green tracking vector for z-axis appears enter the length which is 26 and press enter now once again click on this front view and you can see that it has now moved upwards so i'll right click on the view cube change it to parallel to see it more clearly now we need to insert it inside this drawing so select it click on the move tool click on this end point and move it so that it completely passes this center groove and i'll click somewhere over here okay now orbit the geometry and we need to move this one little bit towards downward side so i'll select it and using this gizmo i'll click on the green axis and i'll move it a little bit downward now it is completely passing this cylinder now we can subtract the geometry so i'll select the subtract tool select the main cylinder press enter select the rectangular shape and press enter again and here we have it okay so one of the part is now complete now let's move to the other side of this shape so here we will add another groove so i'll click on the bottom view like this and now i'll make another rectangle for that i'll select the rectangle tool click somewhere over here and now let's type add on the command line and then enter a length of 70 unit and a width of 1.6 units and press enter now i'll select this completely i'll select the move tool and i'll move it on the center so i'll click on this midpoint and i'll move it to this center point now this is on the top of this geometry as you can see quite clearly over here now select the press pull tool and click inside this groove and now move it in this downward direction and click on any point which is somewhere over here so you can click on this midpoint also so that a groove is formed and here we have it the groove has been formed here now you can remove this rectangle it's no longer required so we have our groove here as per our requirement now we need to add here the groove for our bolt so i'll click on this back view and here we need the bolt groove so i'll click on this circle tool but before that we need to change the ucs as you can see that we are in x z plane on which we cannot make the drawing so i'll click on this coordinates panel and i'll click on this fly out select the view and you'll see that the coordinate will change to x y now click on circle click somewhere over here and let's make a circle with radius of 4 unit and press enter so now a circle is not visible because it's made on another plane which is parallel to this one so i'll orbit this drawing and here we have it so we need to move it so just orbit the drawing a little bit now select the circle and using this green grip move it close to this geometry okay now we will go to this extrude tool select the circle press enter and now make a cylinder that completely passes this geometry now once again select the subtract tool select the main geometry press enter select the cylinder press enter again and we have the required groove here so now we need to make another pair of this unit but before that we'll add final details to this so the first detail that we need to add is chamfer on this side so for that i'll just remove this circle this is no longer required now go to the solid and from here solid editing panel select the chamfer tool now click on distance and enter a distance of two unit press enter and enter two unit and press enter again now click on this corner and press enter okay so here we have it now we'll add fillets on the remaining sides for that i'll once again click on this fly out select the fillet edge click on radius and enter a radius of 0 0.6 unit now click 
on this edge and similarly keep on clicking on the remaining edges of this 3D geometry. So now the fillets are added on almost all of these edges. We will now make a mirror image of this. So I'll go to home tab and I'll select this 3D mirror tool. Now select the object, press enter and now we'll select the plane. In this case, we can see that XZ plane is parallel to this geometry. So I'll select this XZ or ZX plane. Now simply click at a point. So I'll click on any of these points. I'll go to this. I'll take reference of that point, but I'll not click and I'll click somewhere over here. Now press enter. So in this way, we can make a mirror image of this original object like this. Now we only need to make the central mating part of this coupling. So for that, once again, I'll go to this bottom view and which is currently set to front. I'll click on this world UCS icon so that it gets converted to the bottom view and now make another circle. So click at a point and make a circle with radius of 35 units. Now go to this rectangle tool and make another rectangle somewhere outside this geometry and make it with a length of 80 units. So for that I'll type at 80 and a width of 16 unit and press enter. So here we have it. The rectangle has been made. Now we'll use this rectangle in a moment. So I'll just place it somewhere over here. Now let's orbit the drawing and let's convert it into 3D. So I'll go to extrude tool, select this circle, press enter and enter a height of six unit and press enter. Now let's move this rectangle on this geometry. For that, I'll select the move tool and I'll click exactly at the center of this rectangle. So I'll track this midpoint, but I'll not click. Then I'll track this midpoint and I'll click at this intersection point. Now move it to the center of this. So click on any of these centers. So here we have it. Now we'll make an offset of this. So for that, I'll select the offset tool and enter an offset distance of six unit and press enter. Now click on this rectangle and click outside. Here we have the offset. Now we need to rotate this one. So I'll select both of them. I'll select this rotate command, click on the center of this cylinder. And now click on this copy option from the command line. We need to make a copy and enter 90 as the rotation angle. And here we have it. Now let's move it on the second plane. So I'll select both of these rectangles, select the move tool, click on this vertex, move it downwards and enter a distance of six unit and press enter. So now they are on completely different planes. Okay. So let's add the remaining values or the remaining 3d geometries for that. I'll go to this press pull tool. Now zoom into this area and click in between these two parallel lines and enter a height of 10 unit and press enter. Repeat the process for this side and enter the same height of 10 unit and press enter. Now orbit this drawing completely to the second side and here also repeat the process. So I'll go to the press pull tool, click in between these two points, enter a height of 10, click in between these two points and enter a height of 10 and press enter. Now we have this geometry almost complete. We only need to remove some of these 2D objects which are not required. So I'll select both of them and I'll simply right click. I'll select this select similar option that will select all of these polylines and also some polylines which are present here and now select erase. Okay, we also need to rotate this one. So I'll select this object and I'll rotate it to 90 degrees. So select it and click on this rotate gizmo. Now this rotate gizmo will appear, click on this blue axis and type an angle of 90 degrees and press enter. So this has also been rotated. Now we simply need to move it on this geometry. So I'll select it, click on move tool, click on any of these midpoints or the center point and go to this center point, track it and click somewhere over here. And here we have it, the final old ham coupling with all of its mating parts. So if you want, you can move it even further using these gizmos just like this. And here it is. 
so we have the old hem coupling and also they are now mating perfectly so this part will mate with this and this part will mate here and a shaft will be connected here and another shaft will be connected here and there is only one thing that remains which is a keyway which you can make here so if you want to add that keyway it's quite simple you can simply add one here so i'll make a rectangle here for that let's type add add a length of 20 units and a width of 4 unit and press enter so here we have it now let's select it select the move tool click on this midpoint and move it on any of these center points obviously the rectangle will be lost somewhere and here it is so i'll select it and i'll move it upwards just like this now i'll select extrude tool i'll click on rectangle and i'll extrude it to certain height in this case i am approximating its height so i'll click somewhere close to this point and i'll turn off this object snap and here it is now we just need to subtract it and before subtracting i'll make a copy of this so i'll select this object i'll make a copy of this and i'll move it on another side of this geometry so i'll move it somewhere over here just like this okay and here we have it so it has been added here also so now i'll select the subtract tool i'll select this geometry press enter select the second part which is this 3d solid and press enter again and it has been subtracted here just like this similarly we can do it for this side as well so here also select the subtract tool select the main geometry press enter select the second part press enter again so now we have this final old hem coupling here in autocad 3d so i hope you like this video and if you have any questions related to this video let me know in the comment box and don't forget to subscribe if you have not yet subscribed and thanks again for watching